G'day everyone, welcome back to Red Trucks. My name is Jim and it's a pleasure to have your company. Today's video is episode 12 of Standalone Models. Um, this model actually featured in uh, Bog's farewell video. So I was asked to do a, um, a separate video by a few uh, comments, so today's the day. Alrighty, this is a big model. This is a 118 scale. Um, it's the only 118 scale I have in my collection. I normally won't touch models this big. Uh, but what happened was I was I found the uh, I found the seller on Gumtree. He was selling the Mac B60 Boston Fire Department for fire truck uh, tow truck that I've done a video on as well. It's in the um, forget which number, but it's one of the standalone videos. You can check it, look it up and see. Yes, yeah, so I went to his place, um, bought a tow truck, and then he went and bought this one out as well. And he said, um, uh, "Would you like this one as well?" Uh, I said, uh, "It's a bit big." And he said, "It's yours for thirty dollars, thirty dollars Australian." So how could I turn it down for thirty dollars? You know, worry about where I'm going to put it when I get home. So yeah, some great features on it. Uh, Solid metal. I don't know what this thing weighs, but it's pretty substantial. Uh, mostly all die cast, except for the plastic lights and so forth. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, let's check out what it is, actually. Um, it's a Chevrolet panel truck and from 1950. It's from a... Uh, apparently, it's a Spanish brand called Mira, M-I-R-A. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, I couldn't find anything on on Google about it. So if you know anything about this brand, Mira, let me know. Yeah, very heavy. So um, a little bit of fault there in the paintwork. I'm not really worried about. I tried um, a bit of WD-40 on it, but it wouldn't come off. Could be a glue stain or something, but um, some angles you can't even notice it. So, really big solid rubber tyres with tread. Uh, nice hubcaps with Chevrolet on them. Um, the Boston Fire Department logo there. What does it actually say? Just fire... Where's my pointer? Fire Department, I guess. Yeah, it's nice detail on the door handles. The... Um, what we call in Australia the elephant's ear. Uh, you got a Chevrolet badge there. It looks a little bit crooked. Where's my finger? Yeah, it looks a little bit crooked. Um, so yeah, coming around to the front. Chevrolet badge again. A really nice chrome grille. Lensed headlights. Um, nice bumper bar, chromed. Uh, windscreen wiper detail in chrome as well. Uh, I think you've got your siren there. Side mirrors in chrome. Uh, you got your warning lights up here, two clear ones and a red one. It's really nicely done. These are solid. They're plastic, but they're really well, uh, really well put in. Coming around to the passenger side, because this is an American fire vehicle. Uh, there's your fuel filler cap there. Um, nice um, steps here, what do you call them? I guess just side steps. Around to the back, you've got the Boston Fire Department emblem again. You've got a 1950 on the number plate. Uh, a little bit of staining again there. Just there, yeah, some sort of stain. Might be able to get that one off, I'm not sure. Nice chrome bumper. Um, strange, there's no rear lights. Yeah, that's strange. All right, uh, let's have a look underneath again. Uh, so you got your, your fuel tank, your diff, 
the drivetrain, the leaf spring suspension, the gearbox there, the engine. It's held together with uh, screws. Four, five, six screws. So yeah, it'd be easy to take apart if you want to detail. Well, the interior is already detailed, so. So yeah, let's have a look at the opening features. Got opening rear doors. Um, just dust in there, it can be a bit dusty. So yeah, plenty of storage space in there. I'll just pause the video for a sec, I want to grab something. Sorry about that, I'm back now, uh, just putting my glove on. Yeah, so what I wanted to grab was um, a little 164 scale car to compare the size. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels, what is it, a McLaren Formula One GRX 57 from 2020, made in Malaysia. Yeah, just to show the scale. So for a start, look at the wheels. So this is a 118, 118 and this is a 164 or thereabouts anyway. Yeah, you could fit you could fit this in the boot. Sometimes I get comments saying, um, could you put a 164 next to the larger scale fire truck so we can get a an idea of how big they are. So yeah, there you go. Alright, where was I? The opening features. Yeah, you've got opening um, rear doors. One opens a bit more than the other one. This one doesn't open very far. I'm not going to force it. See, it doesn't quite come out 90 degrees. Uh, then you got the opening front doors. I'll just put the, the brush in there and just get the dust off that seat. Yeah, both front doors open. And some really great um, detail on the interior here. For a start, look at the door trim. You got the uh, window uh, wind-up mechanism, uh, the door latch. Um, you got foot pedals in chrome. You got your brake pedal and your clutch. Um, then you got the gear stick. Steering wheel, um, the dials on the dashboard. Let's have a look on the other side. Just get close as I can for you. Yeah, so it's um, it's a nice interior. That big gear stick, big bench seat in there. Dashboard's still a little bit dusty. Yeah. And look at this feature, guys. Um, it's got movable steering, adjustable steering. Watch the steering wheel. See it turning? I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. yeah, the wheels actually turn. Not much, but... They do turn. So that's a nice feature. It rolls sort of okay. Not that I'm going to play around with it, push it around the ground. But yeah, it does roll. There's another size comparison. 164 or thereabouts and 118. So let's close these up in case I get caught up on them. And the final opening feature is the hood. So let's have a gander inside here. 
it's a very small motor for such a big car. Um, I have no idea what size motor that is. You'd think it'd be a V8. But you can't I can't be sure. Got a radiator. Just trying to get it in shot. Yeah, I, is that a straight six or is that a V8? I'm not sure. Could be a straight six. Some of you um, car heads will know what size engine that is. Let me know in the comments, please. It's a little bit dusty in here. I'll just give it a bit of a clean. Needs a bit of a pressure cleaner in there. <laughs> but yeah, overall, very nice model. Takes up a heap of space. Um, I haven't got, I can't find a plastic box big enough to fit it in, so it just uh, sits in my wardrobe gathering dust. Yeah, so there it is, guys, a 1950 Chevy panel truck from the Boston Fire Department. Uh, 118 scale uh, from a brand mirror. So yeah, if you're knowing about the brand Mirror, let me know. Because I've never heard of it. Uh, base is plastic. But most of it is metal. So guys, yeah, that's it. That is episode 12 of Standalone Models. The... Um, little McLaren on top there I just found that when I was working some kid must have dropped it so I just scooped it up and I thought oh, it might come in handy for a video and it has so yeah that's all I got for you today guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave me a comment I always read all of the comments and I try to reply to all of them as soon as I can too um, YouTube stuffing me around a bit at the moment it's unsubscribing me from some of the channels and um, um, what else is doing? Oh, notifications. I'm hardly getting any notifications for, you, for the channels, for you guys' as channels. So forgive me if I don't um, watch your video straight away because I probably didn't get a notification for it. So yeah, thanks a lot, YouTube. Um, so there we have it. That's today's video. Um, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode of Red Trucks. Bye for now.